how to DIY Halloween costumes from everyday objects. It's almost that time of year where ghosts and goblins come out to play. Halloween is just around the corner. And we've got some crazy fun ideas to make crafty, spooktacular DIY costumes from everyday objects. But first, be sure to subscribe to the Crafty Hackers channel and click on the notification bell to be the first to see our new videos. Harry Potter. If you want to look like Hogwarts' favorite wizard this year, give this look a try. On a color printer, print out the Gryffindor crest. Then cut a piece of red felt to the same shape and size, leaving a slight border around the printout. Then seal it down with Mod Podge. Get a grey sweater and place a sheet of cardboard inside so the glue doesn't bleed through to the back of the shirt. Glue a gold sequined ribbon along the collar. Make sure to go all the way around. Snip at the point of the v-neck. Now add some red around the collar as well. Snip snip! So far, so good. Spray the back of your Gryffindor crest with spray adhesive and press it to the lapel of your sweater. Now we need a magic wand. Wrap a wooden dowel at one end with black tape. Roll the tape a few times at both ends of the handle. Wrap the handle again with masking tape. Let's add a creative touch. Sprinkle some beads onto a paper plate. Apply hot glue to the handle and dip the wand into the beads. Mix together some black, brown, and white paint until you're happy with the color. Paint the handle and the beads. Go ahead and paint the shaft of the wand as well. Looks pretty authentic, doesn't it? All that's left to do is run to platform nine and three quarters, Wingardium Leviosa. Okay, the bugs are a trip, but this kind of looks amazing. Start by adding dark contacts. Use your white cream makeup and apply all over your face, extending down to your chest area. Next, use red cream makeup and create a giant joker-like smile from cheek to cheek and above your chin. Plus, outline the tip of your nose. Use black cream makeup to fill in the red lines around your mouth and nose. Take a thin brush and use the black to outline the red smile. Now, draw the white strokes in the black smile to create white fangs. We use a dark gray from our Smashbox palette to add shadow around the smile and nose area. Use a thin line of white paint to draw around the area again for an extra creepy pop. Next, add black cream makeup around your eyes generously and sponge it in. Do the same for under your jawline into your neck. And again with red paint to add highlights to open areas like your forehead and under one of your eyes. Draw in some extra red on your lips for a blood effect. You can use stage blood and a pint of blood to intensify your gory look. Let it drip down and sponge in little corners for depth. Now that, my friends, is one scary but awesome queen of darkness. Frida Kahlo. If you would rather be one of Mexico's most influential painters, give this costume a try. First, cut two strips of black fabric, like this. Cut some hot pink tulle to size, glue the tulle to the black fabric strip, then glue the other strip on top. Fold the fabric over. Now braid the pieces together and glue the ends.
You can usually find artificial flowers at the dollar store. Snag a few and get ready to make Frida's signature headband. First, pull the flowers off the stems, then glue the flowers to the headband. Keep adding flowers to your heart's content. Get some earring wire and beads from the craft store and string together your very own Frida earrings. Use a brow brush and liner to get that signature eyebrow look that Frida is known for. Beautiful! Now add the headband and get ready to be the life of the Halloween party. This cute costume is super easy to put together. Watch this. First measure a large piece of fabric to your body. Then mark fat wings in the sides with chalk. Cut the wings out. Make sure to cut holes at the edges of the wings for your thumbs to fit through. Time for the bat ears. Cut a piece of black tape and wrap it around a black headband off to the side. Tape the sticky parts together at the top. Do the same for the other side. Stick some double-sided tape at the base of the ears. Pull off the adhesive backing and fold the black tape over to make a triangle shape. Stick it down to the double-sided tape. Let's give those ears a trim. How cute is this? Bat Girl is ready for trick-or-treating. Vampire Fangs. Oh, speaking of nocturnal creatures, check out this clever hack. Grab some acrylic nails. Cut them into fangs with cuticle scissors. Sand the point with a nail file and apply them to your teeth. Those look like the sharpest fangs in all of Transylvania. Starbucks Frappuccino. Looking to dress up as your favorite sweet drink? We've got you covered. First, print out the Starbucks logo onto a piece of paper. Trace a circle around the logo onto a large piece of felt. Cut it out and use spray adhesive to glue the logo onto the felt. Measure two strings for the back of the logo. Glue them into place, like you see here. Now grab a piece of green construction paper. Roll it up to make a large straw. Use a hot glue gun to glue it together. Next, find a tan dress at the thrift store. Use spray adhesive to glue white cotton batting to the collar of the dress. Feed the belt of the dress through the strings on the back of the logo and attach the straw to your shoulder. This might be the tastiest Halloween costume we've ever seen. Maleficent. Playing a villain on Halloween can be so much fun. Our favorite villain is Maleficent. Here's how we made her horns. First, wrap some saran wrap around your head. Never wrap it around your nose or mouth, just cover your forehead and the top of your head. Next, tape it up using clear packing tape. Pull it off your head. Crinkle it up and shape it so it looks like Maleficent's horns. When you've got it to the right size, cut the extra foil away with scissors. Add some more foils to the base of the horns to densen them. Next, mix together some black and white paint to create an aged look. Paint the horns, now get some black plastic and wrap it around the horns. Horns? Check this! Now for the hat! Use the hat you formed around your head earlier and cut a widow's peak in the front. Cover it with black plastic. Beautifully evil.
Then tape the horns to the hat with black tape. Uh, just make sure you invite her to the party. You know what happened to Sleeping Beauty. Waldo. Let's get a little more playful with a Where's Waldo costume. All you need are a pair of glasses, a red beanie, a pair of blue jeans, and a red and white striped shirt. All of these are totally easy to find at the thrift store. Put on the hat and glasses, and maybe add a cane to the costume. Everyone will be looking for Waldo the whole night. Great Gatsby headband. If you want to go for a more glamorous look, try this headband from the Great Gatsby. You'll need a stretchy black headband, some jewels, some feathers, and a hot glue gun. First, glue the feathers to your headband, layer and fan them out like this as you glue. Next, draw a straight line of glue across the front of the headband. Then glue a chenille stem in place. Use glitter glue if you have it to add more sparkle. Glue your jewels to the front. We like this design, but you can make it whichever style you like. Then get some bead string and string some beads on it. When you're happy with the look of the strand of beads, glue them to the front of your headband. Glue a few beads over the strand to make it more secure and stylish. Just add a few finishing touches along the sides. You can add as many beads as you like here. And ta-da! Time to go hit the local speakeasy. Bye, darling. Pumpkin costume. We're going to turn this orange Play-Doh into a cool pumpkin costume for Barbie. Just roll out some orange Play-Doh and cut the sides to make it even. Wrap it around her chest and put it together in the back. Cut out the Play-Doh to make room for her arms and cut out these triangles on her chest. Use this clay tool to smooth out the edges. Now, let's use a little bit of black Play-Doh. Roll a small piece into a ball, then roll it flat with a rolling pin. Cut out a jack-o'-lantern face and stick it to the front of her top. Press it in place with this nifty little tool. Add the nose and mouth, then roll out some more black and orange Play-Doh. Roll and cut out some green leaves too. Press the details of the leaves in with a toothpick. Let's make a pumpkin hat. Roll an orange ball out of Play-Doh and attach the stem and leaves to the top. Carve out a few lines around the outside to make it look like a pumpkin. Now take that piece of Play-Doh from earlier and wrap it around Barbie to make a skirt. Add a second layer of orange Play-Doh on top. Make a green belt out of your green Play-Doh. Add a few leaves onto the skirt. Finally, cut out some jagged edges in the black part of the skirt. Add some black and orange armbands to complete the look. <sighs> Such a cute jack-o'-lantern costume. Cruella de Vil. Let's have some fun and turn Barbie into this dog-stilling villain. Snip the top of the balloon off in this V-shape. Fold the balloon in half and snip out sections for her arms. Cut the bottom tip off. With the other balloon, cut the neck and bottom off. If there's one crucial item for a Cruella de Vil costume, it's fur. Lots and lots of fur. Find a furry piece of white fabric and measure it to Cruella's body. Cut out the outline of the fur coat. Then sew the seams together. Push the sleeves inside out before you sew them. Stitch them up and push the sleeve back out. Try the coat on again and gather the material around the neck. Sew the collar at the place you gathered. Hot glue a piece of elastic inside to make the jacket fit around her shoulders. Then, glue the hemline down around the border.
Use a fabric marker to make the black Dalmatian spots. The fur coat is done! Now, paint some red gloves on her arms with nail polish. Barbie's going to need a haircut. Gather her hair in a ponytail and snip it. Pull out a strand in front for a white streak. Then brush the rest out. A little trim here and a little snip there. Now she is ready for color. Use fabric markers to make half of her hair black. Use a felt tip pen to give her that crazy makeup look. Cruella de Bill is ready for her next puppy stealing caper. Fries, cut a piece of construction paper in half. Then fold in small sections to make the fries. Fold it into the shape of a french fry and glue it in place. Hold on to your empty McDonald's french fry container. Now, cut out the bottom to make holes for Barbie's legs. Put a red balloon top on Barbie and slide her legs into the holes. Add the french fries you made. Doesn't she look delicious? Clever costume, Barbie. Mummy. This costume is super easy to make. All you need is some white polymer clay. Pull off a piece and roll it onto a long string. Flatten it out like a bandage. Then, wrap the bandages around Barbie's body. Spray it with water to make it stick to the next bandage. Then, wrap some more. Keep wrapping. Do her arms, torso, and legs until she is totally mummified. Arrgh. Arrgh. Harry Potter. Ken wants to play too. Get over here, little fella. We're gonna turn you into a wizard. Fold a piece of black fabric over. Use Ken as a guide and trace out a robe for his costume. Cut out the robe, then sew the sides together. Cut an opening down the front. Now to make the hood. Cut out two of these shapes from the black fabric. Put them together and sew along the curve. Now sew the hood onto the robe. Print a little Gryffindor crest and attach it to the robe with Mod Podge. Paint over the crest to seal it onto the fabric. Add a little wand from a painted toothpick and some bent wire for glasses. Now Harry is ready to cast some spells. Devil. Want to help us turn our favorite frozen princess into a little devil? Here's how we did it. First, we measured some black fabric to her body and marked it with chalk. We cut it to fit, wrapped it around her body, and pinned it in place. After we pinned it, we carefully took it off and marked the seam with chalk. We cut off the extra fabric and stitched the seam at the chalk mark. Then, we turned it so the stitching is on the inside of the dress. The dress should fit pretty snug. We slipped it onto her body. Then we grabbed a piece of shiny red ribbon for the trim of the dress. We put it around her legs and secured it with a little black elastic band. Then, we pulled the ribbon down over the band, and next, we cut the ring off of a soda bottle cap. We made the horns with red glitter foam sheet. To make the trident, we cut out the points from the red glitter foam sheet and glued it to a dowel. This little devil is ready for the party. Doesn't she look wickedly fabulous? Batbow. Let's give our teddy bear a spooky little bow tie. 
Get a piece of black felt and draw a bat using chalk. Quick hack. If you trace just one bat wing, you can fold it over and cut it so it makes two bat wings. Next, you'll need a piece of black glitter foam sheet. Fold the bat wings in half and trace it onto the back of your glitter sheet. Fold your glitter sheet in half and cut it out. Glue the glitter wings onto the black felt. Glue a black pom-pom in the center of the wings to make the head and face. Googly eyes make everything better. You'll need a piece of black elastic to attach it onto your teddy bear. Glue the bat to the center of the elastic. When the glue is dry, tie it around your teddy's neck. <gasps> Isn't he adorable? Harry Potter Jack-O-Lantern. Start with a small pumpkin. Cut a hole out of the bottom. Pull out all the seeds and pumpkin guts. Next, draw two eyes and of course, the lightning scar. Cut out the eyes and the scar. Use a permanent marker to make dark rimmed glasses around the eyes. Add some black hair on top with paint. Make a little scarf with red and yellow stripes around the bottom of the pumpkin. Make two slits and place in some round black circles for his eyes. Complete the scarf by coloring out red and yellow strips onto a piece of construction paper. Cut a few tassels in the end. Place your Harry Potter jack-o'-lantern onto a candle and add the scarf on the side. You'll have the coolest jack-o'-lantern on the block! That was super fun! Draculaura Let's start with Draculaura. To get the right shade of foundation for your face, you can blend two MAC shades together. Just use your hand as a palette and blend until you get the perfect color to match your complexion. Time to highlight and contour. Start with the highlighter and apply it to the bridge of your nose. Blend everything together. Set it with powder. Use a brow filler in the same color as your eyebrows and fill them in. Add some concealer and primer to your eyelids before applying your eyeshadow. This will help your shadow really stand out. Use your favorite color palette to find a nice rosy eyeshadow. Applying liquid eyeliner takes practice. First, trace the line out, then fill it in. Use a blending tool to soften the lines of the eyeliner. Then, apply your mascara. Careful not to poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> Ouch! Next, grab some false eyelashes and trim them to fit your eye. Apply lash adhesive to the eyelashes and let them dry for a couple seconds. Carefully stick them to your lash line. Let's do the other eye. But first, snack break, yum! Now, let's add a little shimmer. Apply this rose shimmer to the middle of your eyelids. Add the light pink in the corners of your eyes for extra sparkle. Highlight the area just under your eyebrows and add a little bronzer to your cheekbones. See the glow? There it is! Now apply a soft pink blush to your cheeks. It's good to moisturize your lips before applying your lipstick. We are using this shimmery pink color. Add a little heart to your cheek. Ta-da! You are now Draculaura! Add a wig and some funny accessories and you're ready to party! Time to celebrate with some cotton candy! So yummy! Claudine Wolf. For this savage monster high look, we are going to blend together our foundations with a blending foundation brush. You've got this part down by now. Blend, blend, blend! A little highlighter on the cheeks, forehead, and chin. Looking good so far. Use a contour stick under the cheekbones, chin, edges of the forehead, and on the sides of your nose. Blend it all together with your sponge. Always set your makeup with a light powder. Time to work on those eyebrows. You can blend two colors together to get the right shade for your eyebrows. Then fill those babies in. Then tame your brow hairs with an eyebrow comb. Next, add some concealer to your eyelids. And apply a shimmery lavender shadow to your eyelids. 
as well as your lower lash line. Blend a darker purple in the outer corners and on the lower lash line. Then, use a light sparkly lavender to create a gradient look on your eyelids. Adding a little light shimmer to the inner corners of your eyes makes you look like a magical dew-kissed fairy. Then, you'll want to highlight the brow bone just under your eyebrows. Apply eyeliner on the inside of your lash line. Apply your mascara. Add your liquid eyeliner. Now let's add some eyelashes. Brush on the adhesive. Let dry for a minute and stick to your lash line. Repeat with the other side. Bronzer time! Brush on your bronzer to your cheekbones and brush a little highlighter at the tops of your cheekbones to really catch the light. Add soft pink or peach blush and apply a red lip color. Make your lips shine with a bit of clear lip gloss over the red color. Now that's a gorgeous werewolf. Head on over to the party for some sweet treats. Okay, we admit it, we are a little obsessed with cotton candy. Frankie Stein. This is one of our favorite looks. After you've applied your foundation and powder, add a little concealer to your eyelids. Blend it in with your finger. Add a dramatic purple shade to your lids and lower lash line. Then blend in these two darker colors to the corners of your eyes. Add a little light pink shimmer to the inner corners of your eyes and on the center of your eyelids. Apply some eyeliner along the upper lash line. And apply your liquid eyeliner. Use the liquid eyeliner along the lower lash line as well. Now you're going to use a blending stick to blend together these yellow and blue colors to your palette. Mix them together until you get that creepy green skin color. Blend it all together with your blending sponge. Set the color with loose powder. Even monsters can have killer eyebrows. By now, you know how to fill and brush your brows. Add a slight highlight on your brow bone. and apply some brown eyeliner under your eyes and along the inside upper corner. Eyelashes make everything more fun. You know the drill. Clip, glue, air dry for a bit and stick them on. Carefully apply your mascara after the glue dries on your eyelashes. Contour your cheeks for that gaunt, spooky vibe. Just blend in some black or dark gray eyeshadow under your cheekbones. Brush it on and blend it in. Just because you're a monster doesn't mean you can't shine. Go ahead and add some highlighter to the tops of your cheekbones. Red lips are a nice contrast to green skin. Line your lips with a darker shade. Add some lip gloss. Draw your own Frankie Stein scar with a dark eyeliner. Add her signature black and white wig and get ready for a hauntingly good time. Monster High Parties rule! Caddy <laughs> Noir. You know she wouldn't want to be left out. First, apply concealer to your eyelids. Use a purple eyeshadow, blend it out. Then use this lighter color in the center of your eye and over the purple on your eyelid. Apply your black eyeliner inside your upper and lower lash line. Oh, don't you hate it when your eyes water? Draw on your wolf eyes with liquid eyeliner. Mascara time! Now apply your eyelashes. Apply black face paint with a sponge. Make sure to cover your chest, neck, and all of your face. 
paint a nose with red lip color. Do your lips the same color. Then apply the red on your eyebrows. Glitter up your eyelids to give them extra sparkle. Then complete the look with your wig, ears, and gloves. This wolf's going to have a howling good time. Thanks for joining us here at Crafty Hackers. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more crafty hacks and ideas. See you later.